In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Pomaže Bog. May God help us all. Blessed day. It is indeed a blessed day, dearly beloved, because our Orthodox Church celebrates today the Feast of Annunciation, which marks the beginning of our salvation. A beautiful feast day, which is so rich in its hymnology that teaches us what we really need to know. The Church never hides several situations in which the people who were so instrumental in the history of the salvation of mankind were, for example, the situation in which our Blessed Virgin Mark Mother, the Ever-Virgin Mary, was at the moment when the, the glad tidings were brought to her by Archangel Gabriel. Listen how Saint Theophan, the Metropolitan of Nicaea, composed the texts which are the part of the canon of the feast day, so beautifully interwoven with the elements of the Old Testament, especially from the prophets and the psalms, because in so many texts written by the prophets, in so many psalms, we read the texts and the words that point to the Blessed Virgin Mary that the Virgin shall conceive and give a birth to Emmanuel, which means God is with us, as we read, for example, in the prophet Isaiah. Let us listen to the part of the first and the second Oda, first and the second song of the canon on the Feast of Annunciation. The angel said, I cry to thee in gladness, incline thine ear, and hearken unto me who announce the seedless conception of God, for in God's sight thou hast found favor which no one else has ever found, O most honored one. And the Theotokos said, that I may understand the power of thy words, O angel. How will what thou hast said come to pass? Speak more plainly. How shall I conceive who am a virgin maiden? How shall I become the mother of my Creator? The angel said, Thou thinkest, I suppose, that I am making a false declaration. I rejoice beholding thy steadfastness, yet be thou of good cheer, O mistress, for God willing, all glorious things will easily come to pass. And the Theotokos said, A ruler has failed from Judah. The later time has come, wherein Christ the expectations of the Gentiles shall appear. But tell me, how shall I, who am a virgin, give birth to him? The angel said, O virgin, thou seekest to learn from me the manner of thy conceiving, yet it is indescribable. The Holy Spirit overshadowing thee shall accomplish it by his creative power. And the Theotokos said, My first mother, accepting the serpent's knowledge, was driven away from divine sustainers. Wherefore, I fear thy strange salutation, where lest I stumble. And the angel said, I am sent as a divine intercessor to convey to thee the counsel of God. 
Wherefore fears thou me, who am even more in awe of thee, O most immaculate one? Why dost thou render homage to me, who render homage to thee with honor, O great mistress? Indeed, this mystery that we celebrate today is indescribable. But mystery does not mean the absence of reality. No, according to the words of St. John Chrysostom, the mystery, the holy mysteries of our church, that is, the mystery is a hidden reality. How many hidden realities are we, my dear brothers and sisters, witnessing in our everyday life? So many things which cannot be seen, which cannot be which cannot be heard, and yet, and yet, they are still here among us. So this mystery of Annunciation, or what came after the glad tidings of Annunciation, is the beginning of our salvation. And we all, we all should be indeed in awe, like Archangel Gabriel was, when he was in presence of the Blessed Virgin, and repeat the words of the Blessed Mother when she said, Behold the handmaiden of God. And the moment when she said these words is being pictured at the royal doors, which you don't see at this moment, are in the center of every Orthodox Church. But if I move this stand, you might see that the Feast of Annunciation, the Archangel Gabriel and the Blessed Virgin Mary, exactly at the moment when she said, Behold the handmaiden of God. Let each and every one of us, dearly beloved, become in these days a servant of God, a handmaid of God, helping and serving those who are in need. And there are so many people around us who are in need. And with every new day, that number is bigger and bigger. And if not necessarily in any kind of a physical need, just think about so many people who are in the state of despondency, who are being captive by their fear, and we shouldn't be captive by the fear, because we know that our Lord and Savior has saved us by His precious blood that we receive when we partake of His body and blood when we take the Holy Communion. Therefore, let us pray to the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother, our Protectress, the one who is always there for us before the throne of Almighty God. And at the end, before we say our regular litany, like we always do. Let us read together the Troparium, the main hymn of this feast, the Feast of Annunciation. The Troparium, which says, Today is the crown of our salvation and the revelation of the mystery which is from before the ages. The Son of God becomes the Son of the Virgin. And Gabriel announces the glad tidings of grace. Wherefore, with him, let us cry out to the Theotokos, Rejoice, O thou who art full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And now we are going to hear this troparion in our traditional Serbian melody according to the tone four. Bless Oh, 
Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray unto thee, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most holy patriarch, Irene, and our Bishop Longi, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Especially pray for all those who suffer from the coronavirus, and especially for those who are taking care of them. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, visible and invisible, in thy ineffable goodness, look down upon us, thy people gathered in thy holy name, be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. Thou knowest our weaknesses, thou hearest our cry in repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who lovest mankind, deliver us from the impending threat of the coronavirus. Send thy angel to watch over us and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, pharmacists, and the first responders, and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify thy most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of 